Today, I'm going to show you the only method that you need to use to improve your English vocabulary. But first, before I show you the method, we need to understand some of the most common mistakes that English learners make when they're trying to improve their vocabulary. To start, do not learn new words randomly. Learn them with a purpose. Learn words intentionally. It's extremely important that you learn words that are germane, that are relevant to your particular lifestyle. I promise you, if you try to learn words randomly with no organization, you're going to end up forgetting most of the words that you read or listened to. For example, if you work in the healthcare industry, then you should probably learn vocabulary words that are relevant to the healthcare industry. Same thing if you're an electrician or if you're in IT and you work with computers. The vocabulary that you learn and the way that you go about learning English vocabulary should be very, very specific and intentional for your particular lifestyle. The next mistake, don't learn 10 new words a day. Now, a lot of people dispense this advice, but it's not that practical. And I'm saying this as someone who has tried this when I had to learn the French language in my country. 10 words a day, it sounds like a good plan and it sounds efficient. And if I just do this for 100 days, I'm going to learn 1,000 words. It doesn't work that way. Instead, you want to learn words naturally. Just like I said earlier, you want to learn words that are applicable to situations and people who you will interact with on a daily basis. There's a saying that goes, man plans and then God laughs. Simply put, this means that if you put together a plan to learn 10 new words a day, the chances are God will laugh, things will not go according to your plan, and you will probably end up forgetting most of the words that you either read or listened to. The next thing that you need to be aware of is you need to understand the differences between active and passive vocabulary. Active vocabulary consists of words that you actually use when you speak, type, or write in English. Passive vocabulary is referring to words that you can understand when you listen to them or when you read them, but you rarely, if ever, use them when you speak in the English language. As you're learning English vocabulary, you will notice very quickly that your active vocabulary is going to consist of a lot less vocabulary words than your passive vocabulary. But quite frankly, you only need to know around 20% of the vocabulary words in the English language to say about 80% of any of the things that you really want to say. So don't fall under the impression that you need to know a million vocabulary words in order to articulate yourself clearly in the English language. The next thing that I do not see English learners doing enough is trying to understand what words mean based on the context by which they are used. Instead of just immediately looking up a word that you don't understand, just take a second and try to use your common sense and your common knowledge to maybe guess what it means based on the situation. For example, earlier in this video, I used the word germane. Germane is not as commonly used as the word relevant, but they mean essentially the same thing. Some of you may have been able to guess what I meant when I said the word germane, even if you didn't know the textbook definition of what the word meant. So the next time you don't understand what a word means, just try to guess what it means based on the situation, and I promise you, you'll probably be right most of the time. I trust that you guys have good enough judgment to exercise a little bit of common sense. And now the last error that I see it's more of a mindset thing, but a lot of English learners have the impression that you need English immersion to be able to improve your English vocabulary efficiently. And that cannot be further from the truth. I'm not going to lie to you. English immersion helps. But do you absolutely need it? Absolutely not. You can make a ton of progress just practicing your skills on your own in order to efficiently improve your English vocabulary with English immersion or without English immersion. It really will come down to the amount of effort that you personally want to put into it. And this really just comes down to learning words naturally by labeling. So I'll explain what I mean by that. 
For example, I want you to start with somewhere where you will be every single day. So maybe use your bedroom as a reference. I want you to look around your bedroom, look around your apartment, look around your house, and I want you to see how many objects you know how to translate into English. You should be able to label everything that you see on a daily basis in English. And if you can't, then those are the words that you need to look up, research, and memorize. So for example, if I were to do it right now, this is a microphone. This is a water bottle. Maybe I don't know what this is called. So I'm going to look it up on Google and I'll see that it's called an iPhone. Now I'm going to say it five times out loud. iPhone, 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 iPhone. I promise you I will not forget how to say iPhone now because I see it every single day. I use it every single day and I physically said it out loud. I experienced it. You're going to remember about 80% of the things that you physically do and physically say as opposed to just read or listen to. This could be for literally any object in your house, in your bedroom that you do not currently understand in English. Once you're able to label every single object accurately in English, in your apartment, in your house, in your bedroom, in places where you go to on a daily basis, then I want you to get more specific. Instead of just labeling things broadly at a higher level, like this is a microphone, I want you to get more specific, like this is an on and off switch on the microphone. This is a cord. Is it a USB cord? No, it's not. Is it a lightning cable? No, it's not. So we need to look up what type of cable this is. By doing things like these, you are improving your English vocabulary in an extremely relevant way to your particular lifestyle because these are your possessions. These are your places of business or places of residence. These are things that you are going to encounter and are going to use and are going to interact with on a daily basis. This is the vocabulary that's important to have in your active vocabulary in English. I find that labeling is the best way. It worked for me when I had to learn the French language. It worked a lot. However, there is another way that you can use. And that would simply just be by reading, but reading aloud. So for example, I'll go to my YouTube channel right now. I'll click the description and it says become fluent in English for work opportunities, studying abroad, immigration, travel, and lifestyle, building stronger relationships, and subscribe to immerse yourself in English every day. Okay, let's say I didn't know how to pronounce immigration, or I wasn't sure about how to pronounce immigration. I'll Google it, I'll listen to how it's pronounced on Google, and then I will say it out loud five times to implement it and cement it in my brain. So I'll say immigration, 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 immigration. By me actually doing it, by physically doing this exercise and using my mouth and exercising my mouth to speak like an English speaker, it is going to be very difficult for me to actually forget how to pronounce the word immigration now, moving forward into the future. Now, if I just read this whole description in my head, it would be extremely easy to forget a lot of the words I just read and not even understand how to pronounce them correctly. So that's really it. Just naturally, as you're going through your life, try to label objects as best you can. If you come across something that you really don't know, simply look it up, say it five times, and it'll be difficult to forget. If you can just do this consistently over a long horizon of time, you will be very comfortable speaking in English pretty soon, I promise you. Now, if you really want to organize this, a good free application that you can use is called Anki. A-N-K-I. And I'm not even paid to talk about this. I just used it when I had to learn the French language and I found that it helped me a lot. Essentially, it just uses what is called the space repetition method, which has been proven to work over hundreds of years. You can create a vocabulary deck and then it will keep feeding you the words that you are less familiar with, more so than it will feed you the words that you are more familiar with. I encourage you to try to customize a vocabulary deck on this application. Once you open it, it's pretty self-explanatory how to use it. If you have any questions, you can just leave a comment below or you can message me on Instagram, I'll respond to your message. But that's it. To recap, the common mistakes you need to avoid is do not learn new words randomly, learn them with a purpose. Do not learn 10 new words a day or anything like that. Just try to learn them naturally. 
understand the differences between active and passive vocabulary. Try to understand what words mean based on context and understand that you do not need English immersion in order to improve your vocabulary efficiently. It helps, but it is not completely necessary. And again, the one method you need to use is simply labeling. Go through life and naturally try to label everything that you see on a daily basis. Also, you should try reading aloud the best you can. When you look up words that you don't understand, you pronounce them physically at least five times, then it will be extremely difficult to forget these words moving forward into the future. Questions, comments, concerns, leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next video.